Welcome back to the channel. We're at the Greater Iowa in Waterloo, uh, bowling on a mystery pattern, eight games of qualifying. What time do we get up, William? I had an alarm at 4.55. 4.55, early morning. So we'll see how this goes. Look at Billy right here. Got his charcoal bowling ball. Comment what you think that grid is. It was dusty because it was wet. See, it comes off. See, look at all good. You didn't even surface it right, dude. What do you mean I didn't surface it? It's like it half right? parking lot, half actual thousand. That's because that was the side that was up. It hit the air. This side wasn't up yet. The strike down thirty is pretty low. I didn't think I could help. Nice game, dude. Thanks up for game two. I can't see it. What'd you have? I had 269. But I think we're now seeing the shape that we need to in order to compete here. Early on, it was a little rough. The old run, we couldn't get the corners out. Really couldn't get the corners out. Now, I think we're in the right part of the lane with the right ball. So now we got to take advantage of this most important thing for the match play. So I guess everything comes there. That was a pretty good game for the car. We were like 100. 120 over? Yeah, that's pretty really solid.
you know, this is interesting. I'm finally filming an outro the day that I made the video. That never happens. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, so, Billy, you want to, like, talk about qualifying a little bit? Qualifying? So, firstly, it was a 40-foot pattern. Mystery pattern. We don't know the details. Our best guess, high volume, I'd say mm, low 30s in those. Mm -hmm. So, I started with the resurgence pinned down. Uh, in this house, the tens are habitually hard to get out there. We've bowled there, I think it was my fifth or sixth time there. And game That's one, game five or six times too many. Games one and two, no different. If you're down, it's the pattern was too soft to go down and in completely. You had to give the ball away a little bit. And early on, I was having a lot of difficulties getting the corners out. And then if I were to be aggressive with it, I couldn't get it down the lane where I needed to. So the first two were a bit of a grind. And then I switched to a pinup chaos black and tried to stay soft in the middle of the lanes to open up my angles to get the pins to go sideways because we found out that the high pocket hits they're not your friend you'll either four pin or wrap the 10 I got to the middle of the lane slid about 21 just trying to stay soft and I had 773 the middle three games and 70 the back three and I I'm not gonna say I carried amazingly but I did carry better than the rest of the house yeah qualifying went pretty well for the house you qualified first, I qualified third with bills on the end, so, you know, I haven't shot one, I've only shot two, actually, they've both been in the Greater Iowa Series. What did you see different that game eight in qualifying, because you did not have that ball reaction early on. No, I was only, only, uh, 118 over, um, so I was actually the number, I was eighth place going into the last game, and I don't think... I really don't think anything different changed. Um, I mean, they were opening up at the time. They were getting a little cliffed. Um, so if you got it, like in just a little bit, it was hard to get the 10 out. But if you got it in a lot, then you were fine. But if you got it right early, then it would spark really early. It was just really interesting trying to get it to shape the right way. But I don't think anything drastic changed. So, but it was more of a mindset change. I just... Uh, Really, for the people who don't know, I really hit on it. Like, I really put a lot of pressure on my middle finger and not a lot of pressure on my ring and really catch it at the bottom, really knock the holes out of it. Um, but I really backed out of the middle finger, put a lot more in the ring finger so I can actually get around it and shape you it a little put bit a better. Ring on it. But no, I just said that I was going to put 12 close and give myself a chance. And boom, it's weird what happens when you commit to 12. As you can see, I'm in my room. I'm at home. I'm on Thanksgiving break. But yeah, so that's why the background is a little bit different. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to be in any videos in the future, just let me know and I'll be sure to include you in future vlogs. Constructive criticism is always appreciated. Uh, tell me what I'm doing well. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. That would help me create the best quality content for you guys. Again, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.